Yeah. Okay, so we're back here again. What's the date today? Uh, today is date David. Is the seventh. Seventh. Lucky seventh. Seventh of April, and it's still freezing. Everybody's wrapped up, yep. but here you can see the famous plum tree, and we're back on Silver Hammered Land. Uh, and David's decided to go over the old ground that I've already been on. Uh, but I must admit and I did tell him that I didn't do it thoroughly because the, the conditions were so bad that uh, uh, I never did, uh, well dug off of the signals what I got so I'm hoping that he gets lucky and he finds a silver coin be really nice for him and I'm gonna go and uh, other side of the field so we don't clash with each other and uh, uh, yeah this is the farmer I think and uh, so we've got a visitors, so I don't know what's going to happen here. So, so we'll see what's happened. Here we go. See if he stops and see what happens. Okay, we just had a visit from the owner of this land, not the farmer, but the owner, and he was okay with us. Uh, and he's going to speak with Hans, uh, who is the farmer, and maybe we can get back on here. Uh, so that's what I found before that that's a piece that I found and I put all the shit on here uh, and anyway so maybe uh, we can get back on here if we're lucky then I'm going to bring my buddy here and for sure we will find silver almond because there's over 20 or so come off here uh, anyway so we'll see what happens so we're going to crack on then and uh, see what comes up and um, I'll know if uh, he finds anything, I'll have a run over and, uh, yeah. and film it. Okay, <laughs> so until we find something, see you in a minute. Right, so we've completed the first run, and all I found is that button, he's found nothing, I've had a chat with David, just rusty nails, but he is going over ground that I've already done. Uh, but he's just had a wander on this field here, we're not supposed to be on it, but I did find a silver hammer on there a couple of weeks ago. And I'm just keeping guard for him, but uh, if you can see the road here, there, it just there's water there. Look, can you see it in the road? I just fell over in that. I just walked across there, slipped, and mistake. I'm um, wet through to the bone on both legs. But who gives a shit? I'm gonna carry on, see if we can come up with something. So he's just having a quick wonder. Look at him, he loves it. Loves every second of it, look. But I've had a few hits on there. Found a couple of coins on there. Anyway. Alright, has he got something? Yeah. No, no. Right, I'm going to crack on then. I mean, this, wood, this mud is really starting again to cling to my shoes not nice conditions uh, but I've been in worse so I'm going to carry on and anyway this will come on if I get something right I don't know what it is I found I think it's lead but it seems too small for a bag seal and it's round I can't see anything on it, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait till it gets cleaned up. But it's a fine and very welcome because really I've done one run up and half a run down and all I found is a button and this he's found nothing. Although he's digging now at the moment. What are you doing? carry on then see what else comes up I'm hoping we get something uh, it's very cold today I've actually got wet through falling in the water so I need a reward of some sort so catch you in a bit right don't ask me what that's this is I can only think it's a, a musket ball but look at the size of it a uh, very very small pistol or I don't know 
In fact, it looks a bit bronzy, but it feels a bit heavy. But it don't feel as heavy as lead. I don't know, but it's round. It's not perfectly round, but it's round. Any ideas, anybody? Bit interesting, but anyway, we'll check it. On to the right. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, look has changed for both of us. David's come over. He's found. I called him over because look what I found, and it was quite deep. Look at the depth of that hole. Wow, how deep is that? Five, six inches. Five or six inches, and I got a silver hammer. It's not cleaned up yet, so I can't tell you what it is. But it's not all there. You can see that uh, left hand edge is missing. But it's a silver hammer, and that's great. Uh, I'm really happy that's made my day. And David, excuse my fingers here, he's found a couple of coins at last on the second run down. That appears to be a, a, a one Kreutzer, yeah. probably late 17 or early 1800s. That one yeah. from from a uh, previous experience and a two filler yep. or a two it's, it's it looks two like filler. a filler that it is you can see yeah. the two yeah yeah so it's, a, it's a two filler yeah so. it's a two filler which is Hungarian I believe yeah it's Hungarian yeah late 1800s yeah. so uh, so on the run back we both had luck with coins yeah. uh, I'm really hope now that, that David finds a uh, silver hammered <laughs> uh, I, I really hope that you do honestly I do. I so We've got, what, two, three hundred yards to go, and yeah. then we're going to have a tea and a bite to eat and carry on. So that's cheered our day up, believe us. Yeah. OK, catch right, I just made this little find. I thought it was a coin, but it's not. It's a button. Nice little bronze button, because I can feel the shank on the back. But uh, I don't know if there's a pattern on it. I can't see anything much now. But uh, nice little button. Anyway, another find, on to the next then. Right, this is my first find I've made in a while. It's only a button, but uh, I'm rather pleased I found it because I was getting bored. But uh, we'll see how we go. I'm on a, a little bit easier ground now because it's been rolled and it's pretty smooth. That's quite rough over there, as you can see. Very difficult to metal detect. But this is very smooth, so it's a, a lot easier for me now. So. Anyway, back to the button. There it is. Don't know how old it is. It'll get cleaned up and show you in the roundup. Okay, found a bag seal. If you like bag seals, it's all right. But I've got my share now, so I'm looking for all the stuff. I know Jed'd be happy with that, wouldn't you, Jed? Look, you're not the only one who can get bag seals, Jed. Wait till we get over here. Anyway, all right. So on to the next one then. Right, just found a, a little thimble complete. So, but I think we're being watched because I'm on that land and the white vehicle come past with the guy in it that owns it. I think it's his vehicle. I'm not going to point the camera up there because it's a bit too obvious. But anyway, nice little thimble, I'll carry on. Right, well, I'm on here and I'm making finds and I do not know what this is. I've got a feeling it's a button, but. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, probably a button, but until it's cleaned up, I can't really say for sure, but it's interesting anyway. Alright, so let's carry on then. It was a good signal, a number one signal, so I thought it was a coin really, but anyway, we'll see when we get. Right, I'm turning out the wind so you can hear me because it's a bit windy, I found something old here. I don't know what this is, but it's old. That is old. And I love finding things like this. And I don't, uh, I haven't, or oh, should I say, not don't. I haven't been finding stuff like this for a long, long time. And it just mystifies me what it was. Uh, but it's concaved on this side, look. And there's like a bit of a hinge there. I don't know. And these four indentations in the top, if you can see that. Yeah, maybe that's better in the sunlight. That sun's coming out a bit now. It's warming up a little bit, but it's still windy and still cool. But, uh, yeah, I like that find. I'll clean that up when we get back. And I've got no idea what it is or how to start about. Trying to find out what it is, but interesting. All right, catch you in a bit. Right. Go now, just have another 
Ballad back soon. She was very short on the feet, but anyway, I'll clean that up and have a look. See if we can establish what it is we're issuing. Right, first coin of the day, not a silver hammered, it's a two groschen, I can see it, see the two on it, it's a two groschen, I don't know how old, 1920s probably, they're normally around 1920s here, can you make anything out of that? That's the first bloody coin today that is, uh, apart from the silver hammered, two groschen, yeah I know it's a two groschen, 1920s probably. Well, well, well. I knew there was something here. So, I'm looking at you. <laughs> that appears a lot. You'd stay here till tomorrow, wouldn't you? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, I've been trying to take some still photographs of these, uh, but I can't get that function to work on the camera for some reason. So, I'm doing a short uh, roundup on video. So, let me start, show you what we got yesterday. Um, that's a cartridge from a rifle and this is a hinge, uh, a, a bronze hinge because you can see there the holes were for the screws and it can't be that old because they, they've been countersunk so I don't know how old that might be but it, it looks pretty old, 1800s or something this I was quite uh, fond of and somebody told me it's the top off a pipe so that's the top off a pipe and, and I believe that because there's a hinge there if you have a look at the top so top off a pipe uh, a little piece of bronze copper don't know what it is maybe a, a casting of some description then I got another thimble which I'm happy with and then I got four nice buttons but one of them is particularly nice and I think and it's that one look I don't know if that uh, and it's got a harp on it I did say when I got it that there's a I think there's a harp on it you can see that and the other three are reasonable quite nice I got this it's either gold plated or whatever uh, it's not much I don't know what it is I'm not sure but um, it is gold plated I think and I got these three bag seals and I don't think that that's a bag seal I don't even know if that's a pattern on there but uh, it's lead I think because it's fairly heavy and then I got this tiny little ball I don't know it, it's bronze that is it's not lead so I don't know what that is it's not a ball bearing because it's not it's not round enough so maybe that's a, a casting as well I'm not sure what that might be any ideas let me know uh, spoon handle which I'm going to throw away you won't hang on to that then I got this uh, two groschen 1925 and then the, the the piece that's the best is silver hammered coin 1689 there's a date on it and it's quite clear I don't know if you can see that it, don't, it looks a bit blurred to me but I'm not wearing glasses so maybe that's just my eyes but uh, that's just a uh, Click that. Let me just bring this into the, the light. Maybe I can get the date on it for you. I don't know if you can see that. You would see it if I took a still because I get really good, really good stills. But it's not functioning at the moment. Anyway, so that's what I got. Uh, we met up with two Slovakian guys who had been uh, hunting in Austria because it's not allowed. I found out it's not allowed in uh, in, in Slovakia and uh, they'll confiscate all your equipment and put you in prison. Uh, yes, it's really tough for this country. Is. It screws the ordinary guy for everything. You can't have a drink and drive down the road because it's totally forbidden drinking and driving. Uh, you can't sell your house because the government want 33% uh, of it. Uh, so you're screwed everywhere, you can't go metal detecting, so they kill all the things that you like doing uh, and then they don't give you any wages on top of that because you're earning about a third to half as much as what you can earn in Austria just over the border so we're leaving aren't we um, 
as soon as possible. Anyway, that's what I got. I'm going to go out with these two guys. They've been hunting in, in Austria uh, and they showed me some photos yesterday. One of them got a German helmet uh, and also a, uh, a bayonet, a, a full, complete one. Very nice. And also, you won't believe it, uh, a machine gun like Dan and also a bazooka. Uh, quite incredible and I think they're going to take us there maybe this weekend so I'll be out again with um, Sunrise Solara uh, and we'll go and have a shot there and see if we can find something there so until then happy hunting go do the stuff and uh, see you soon thanks for watching bye bye The V, the V, and that's all, folks.